So let's create a cool base patch now with Tone. So what I'm going to do first is just switch this back to default. I've already set a BPM, so I'm going to go for 125 for this. I think the last one we did 120. And again, I'm just going to wing it because I find the syntax so simple to use when you're creating synths that you can quite easily get something pretty cool just using the simple eight parameters that you've got here and then shaping it with the filter and the amp. So I'm just going to see what happens. Uh, I'm going to put in a sequence and then we'll go from there. So I'm just going to experiment a little bit with a sequence first. Pretty simple, but let's just find out where the one is. I think it's that one there. So if I hold function down and just keep shifting it all to the right. There we go. So if I was to put a kick in now, that would work. So a really simple pattern, actually. Sometimes less is more. We'll go for that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just play around with ratio and the feedback and mod amounts until I land on something that I like. Something like that, that's pretty cool. What I was doing is looking for something that has a lot of character and it's it's unique sounding. If you want, you could trig step, uh, trig lock, sorry, the ratio. So let's try that. That's pretty cool. Let's add Portmento on that one. Maybe this one. Add a bit more feedback. That's pretty cool. And then let's just go into the filter now. As soon as you add a bit of filtering and movement, it really starts to come together. Let's make it quite deep, but then on this one, are you enjoying this syntax tutorial? And would you like to develop your syntax skills even further? Well, I do have a 14 hour syntax mastery course available, which is split into four parts. The first part, the introductory course is absolutely free and you can sign up to that by clicking on the link in the video description below. And then following on from that, we go through beginner, advanced and expert, which will take you through basic sound design right through to the advanced features and loads of tips and tricks, which are often people don't really think about. And I'll be pushing the syntax to its absolute limits. I will say though, the introductory course is super, super basic. It's basically there just to give you an idea of how courses are structured in the learning portal. And also to give you an idea of my teaching style, which you are already familiar with from watching my YouTube videos videos. So don't wait, click on the link in the video description below, sign up, and I'll also send you some offers as well to get discount on the Syntax Mastery courses. So my name is James Orvis, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this tutorial.
makes it sound a lot better so again straight to the amp page and then we can take a look at the delay and reverb it's really easy to come up with cool patterns on the syntax same technique again because we're working with bass want to just get rid of the low frequencies in the delay Sixteen works again really nice, so I'll go for that again. Maybe just add the reverb to this one. So that's decay time on the reverb. Take some of the lows out again. Just add that kick in. good to add a kick a hat a clap create a little mini build and just see if it works like and if it sounds exciting you know you've got a good pattern on your hand to develop like in a live performance you can just play around with that and mute stuff getting served. <laughs> 